playing the husband about the time of my marriage little pamphlets costing a pice or a pie i now forget how much used to be issued in which conjugal love thrift child marriages and other such subjects were discussed whenever i came across any of these i used to go through them cover to cover and it was a habit with me to forget what i did not like and to carry out in practice whatever i liked lifelong faithfulness to the wife inculcated in these booklets as the duty of the husband remained permanently imprinted on my heart furthermore the passion for truth was innate in me and to be false to her was therefore out of the question and then there was very little chance of my being faithless at that tender age but the lesson of faithfulness had also an untoward effect if i should be pledged to be faithful to my wife she also should be pledged to be faithful to me i said to myself the thought made me a jealous husband her duty was easily converted into my right to exact faithfulness from her and if it had to be exacted i should be watchfully tenacious of the right i had absolutely no reason to suspect my wife fidelity but jealousy does not wait for reasons i must needs be forever on the lookout regarding her movements and therefore she could not go anywhere without my permission this sowed the seeds of a bitter quarrel between us the restraint was virtually a sort of imprisonment and kasturbai was not the girl to brook any such thing she made it a point to go out whenever and wherever she liked more restraint on my part resulted in more liberty being taken by her and in my getting more and more cross refusal to speak to one another thus became the order of the day with us married children i think it was quite innocent of kasturbai to have taken those liberties with my restrictions how could a guileless girl brook any restraint on going to the temple or on going on visits to friends if i had the right to impose restrictions on her had not she also similar right all this is clear to me today but at that time i had to make good my authority as a husband let not the reader think however that ours was a life of unrelieved bitterness for my severities were all based on love i wanted to make my wife an ideal wife my ambition was to make her live a pure life learn what i learned and identify her life and thought with mine i do not know whether kasturbai had any such ambition she was illiterate by nature she was simple independent persevering and with me at least reticent she was not impatient of her ignorance and i do not recollect my studies having ever spurred her to go in for a similar adventure i fancy therefore that my ambition was all one sided my passion was entirely centered on one woman and i wanted it to be reciprocated but even if there were no reciprocity it could not be all unrelieved misery because there was active love on one side at least i must say i was passionately fond of her even at school i used to think of her and the thought of nightfall and our subsequent meeting was ever haunting me separation was unbearable i used to keep her awake till late in the night with my idle talk if with this devouring passion there had not been in me a burning attachment to duty i should either have fallen a prey to disease and premature death or have sunk into a burdensome existence but the appointed tasks had to be gone through every morning and lying to anyone was out of the question it was this last thing that saved me from many a pitfall i have already said that kasturbai was illiterate i was very anxious to teach her but lustful love left me no time for one thing the teaching had to be done against her will and that too at night i dared not meet her in the presence of the elders much less talk to her katyavad had then and to a certain extent has even today its own peculiar 
useless and barbarous perder circumstances were thus unfavorable i must therefore confess that most of my efforts to instruct kasturba in our youth were unsuccessful and when i awoke from the sleep of lust i had already launched forth into public life which did not leave me much spare time i failed likewise to instruct her through private tutors as a result kasturba can now with difficulty write simple letters and understand simple gujarati i am sure that had my love for her been absolutely untainted with lust she would be a learned lady today for i could then have conquered her dislike for studies i know that nothing is impossible for pure love i have mentioned one circumstance that more or less saved me from the disasters of lustful love there is another worth noting numerous examples have convinced me that god ultimately saves him whose motive is pure along with the cruel custom of child marriages hindu society has another custom which to a certain extent diminishes the evils of the former parents do not allow young couples to stay long together the child wife spends more than half her time at her father place such was the case with us that is to say during the first 5 years of our married life from the age of 13 to 18 we could not have lived together longer than an aggregate period of 3 years we would hardly have spent 6 months together when there would be a call to my wife from her parents such calls were very unwelcome in those days but they saved us both at the age of 18 i went to england and this meant a long and healthy spell of separation even after my return from england we hardly stayed together longer than 6 months for i had to run up and down between rajkot and bombay then came the call from south africa and that found me already fairly free from the carnal appetite 